This tutorial will show you how to use Dolphin to record your inputs. You will learn how Dolphin and Safe States store your inputs and how Read Write Mode and Read Only Mode load your inputs. I will also give an example of how I would task a short segment. Hopefully at the end of this tutorial you will be able to replicate the following short task. So let's start off with read write mode. Read write mode is actually very intuitive but it's very important to understand exactly how Dolphin stores your inputs. In order to start making a task in Dolphin you want to start recording inputs and make a save state. Then you can start playing the game and Dolphin will be recording your inputs. If something difficult is coming up you can make another save state let's say in slot 0 and then you can keep playing the game but you can also go back to state 0 and play the game from there again and repeat doing this until you get something satisfying. Once you get something satisfying you can make another save state when something difficult comes up again, let's say in slot number one. And then we can repeat the process. We can repeatedly load state one until we get something satisfying, make another save state, continue doing this until we are at the end of the task. Now let's say we look back and we are no longer satisfied with the segment after state number one. Then we can go back to state number one and we can repeatedly try again until we get something that is satisfying and then we can continue tasking from there again. Now let's say we are repeatedly trying something again and eventually we get something satisfying but then we immediately mess up before we can make a safe state. This is when you want to use read-only mode. If you load state 3 in read-only mode then Dolphin will start to play back the inputs you've just recorded. So eventually you get to the point right before you messed up and now you can make a safe state. In order to continue the task from here, you have to switch back to read write mode and then load the safe state that you've just made. Then you can continue tasking from there as if you never even messed up in the first place. Those are the essentials of the two different read modes, but in order to do a little more with them, it is useful to understand exactly what Dolphin is keeping track of. First of all, Dolphin obviously keeps track of the game state itself. Second of all, Dolphin keeps track of a sequence of inputs originating from when you started recording inputs. So with that in mind, I can note that save states store these things as well. And the read mode actually only influences what happens when you load a save state. Loading a save state in read write mode simply copies the game state and the input sequence up to that game state into Dolphin. For example, if I load state 3 now, then this will be copied into Dolphin, allowing me to continue recording inputs from state 3. On the contrary, loading a save state in read only mode only copies the game state into Dolphin. For example, if I load state 0 now, then this will be copied into Dolphin. And letting the emulator play, the game state will move along with the input sequence. If we now make another save state, then we can switch back to read write mode and load the save state. Then this will be copied into Dolphin, allowing me to continue recording inputs from state 5. Now it is important to realize that read only mode only works if the save state you're loading is present in the input sequence that is currently loaded in Dolphin. So in this state, if I try to load state 2, 3 or 4 in read-only mode, then Dolphin would give me an error message. So let's say for example that you want to continue recording inputs from here. Then you first want to load state 2 in read-write mode, which copies this into Dolphin. And then you want to load state 1 in read-only mode and play out the recording up until this moment. Then we can make another save state again. And loading it in read-write mode will allow us to continue recording inputs again. That is all I have to say about how Dolphin and Safe States keep track of your inputs. So now, let's get to the example demonstration. For this, I have a safe state in the description. So once you've booted up Dolphin, make sure you're in read-write mode and load the safe state. Then advance a few frames and we can start recording input advance one more frame 
and store a save state. Let's call this one start. This creates a couple of files, as you can see. First, we have the game state. Then we have the sequence of inputs, which, as you can see, is not very large yet. And finally, we have the game state at the start of the recording, which we were going to ignore. What I like to do next is advance one more frame and overwrite all of my hotkey save states. This way I make sure that I never accidentally load a save state from a different task movie. Since there are 10 hotkey save states, there are many different ways you can use them. I personally like to keep state 9 at the start of my movie. I like to use states 7 and 8 for special occasions. And I like to keep state 0 at the start of the segment I'm working on. That leaves me with states 1 through 6 for actual tasking. So let's go to the end of this load so we can make a save state and start actually working on the task. So let's start the emulator and see when the load ends. That looked like frame around 70. So let's load one of our save states and try to pause the emulator at the right time. Now I'm going to make a save state and frame advance to see exactly when the load ends. So frame 73 was the last frame of the load. So let's make a save state there. So now I can repeatedly load this save state and try to get a good first part of the segment. So all you want to do here is hold forward and hold the camera stick to the right for the right amount of frames such that you get a good angle on these tikis. To do this a bit more systematically we can use the frame counter and see that for example frame 80 is a bit too early. So let's make a safe state on frame 80 and let's try frame 84 and that's a bit too late. So then let's try frame 83 and that looks pretty good. Now this is still slightly too far right. So let's make a safe state on frame 83 and let's try some small camera stick angles on the next frame to see if they can give us a better angle on the tikis. So eventually you want to get an angle that lets you fall in between these tikis. Note that this requires you to stop holding forward when you fall off the tiki. Once you finally get it, you want to make a backup save state. Then you want to go into read only mode and load the previous save state and play back the inputs until right when you start falling off the tiki. Now you want to make another save state and load that save state in read write mode. Once you've landed on the floor, you can start experimenting with activating the ball boost. So let's try holding upright for one frame, then upright plus ball. And that's not a ball boost, so let's try again. Let's try holding upright for two frames, then upright plus ball. And that's a good ball boost, but it's not quite the angle we want to see. So let's try holding down right for two frames, and then down right plus ball. And that's actually a very good ball boost and angle. Now we want to activate the ball boost as soon as possible. So let's go to say frame 195, hold down right for two frames, down right plus ball. That's not a ball boost. So let's make a safe state. Go to frame 199, down right for two frames, down right plus ball. That's good. Let's try 197. And that's not good. Let's try 198. And that is good. So that's optimal. Now that we've optimized starting the ball boost, we want to enter Mr. Krabs' dialogue trigger as soon as possible. So by opening bco4.hip and hop in industrial park, bc standing for barnacle caves of all things, we see that Mr. Krabs' dialogue trigger is actually spherical centered at Mr. Krabs. So we just need to get an angle towards Mr. Krabs. So let's go to frame 198 and make a safe state so we can try a bunch of angles until we get something that points directly to Mr. Krabs. So trying down right twice, down right plus ball sends me too far right. So let's try right twice, right plus ball. And that's too far left. So let's try in between. And that's pretty good. So let's go into read only mode and play back those first two frames and make a safe state and load that one in read write mode so we can try some more angles on the third frame. So let's try neutral plus ball first and that still touches the tiki. So let's try left plus ball. That also still touches the tiki. So let's try down left plus ball. That no longer touches the tiki. But now we're too far left again so we're going to have to change angle mid ball to go perfectly towards Mr. Krabs. So let's play that back in read only mode until right before we want to turn. 
and then we can make another save state and load that one in read write mode again. So let's hold down right for one frame and see what happens. And that's actually already a perfect angle, so no reason to change that anymore. So now that we're halfway done and it's already 3 a.m., let's store our progress to a file. Let's call this DDB for displacement ball boost. And let's continue with this task tomorrow. So now that it's the next day, we want to continue our task. So after booting up Dolphin, make sure you're in read-write mode. Load the save state we made at the end of last day. Advance a couple frames. Go back to read-only mode. And then load the save state at the start of the segment. Advance one frame. Put this on one of our hotkeys. And then we can play back the task that we've made yesterday. But now we want to continue working on the task. So let's play that back again. Let's try to pause the emulator right when we start talking to Mr. Krabs. Let's make a save state and load that one in read-write mode. Now we can start working on the next part. Here we want to turn as much as possible, but still hit the button. So by now hopefully you have a pretty good idea of how to systematically optimize something like this. But I'm just going to try to get this by hand. So once you get something good, you can make a backup save state, go to read-only mode, play back the inputs until Spongebob throws the ball make another save state and load it in read-write mode. Now before I continue with the next part, let's consider what happens if I switch to read-only mode to load the last save state from yesterday. Dolphin gives us a warning message telling us that the loaded save state mismatches the currently loaded input sequence. This happened because we continued tasking from a save state that we placed right before the save state from yesterday. This is nothing to worry about though. This happens all the time to me when I load a wrong save state. We can pretty much ignore this now, just go back to read write mode and continue tasking from where we just were. But we can also fix this issue with this save state by overwriting it with the save state that does sync up. Just get rid of the warning message and load the save state at the start of today in read only mode. Advance one frame and overwrite the stored save state. Enough about that though, let's go back to read write mode and let's start working on the next part. First you want to walk left and get the right camera angle. You'll know the camera angle is correct if you can just hold down and do some tap jumps to get stuck behind the cage. Now let's go back to read only mode and play back those inputs until the camera stops moving and we can make another save state and load it in read write mode. Now you can start trying to optimize jumping behind the cage. This is rather tricky however, so try not to be too picky once you finally get stuck behind the cage. So let me play that last one back in read-only mode. You want to hold left, figure out when to do a full jump, and then figure out when to start holding down. And that's what's going to get you stuck behind the cage like this. So this was not quite optimal, but once you've succeeded you can use read-only mode to make a safe state right before you touch the floor. For this last part, once you touch the floor like this, you want to hold down left for one frame, then down left plus ball plus cruise missile on the next. And that's what's going to let you clip like this. The first down left unstucks you behind the cage, which gives you a lot of displacement and lets you ball boost on the next frame. And the cruise missile actually gives you one frame of intangibility, which lets you clip inside the cage. Finally, note that you do not want to touch the spatula yet because you can cancel the ball animation by walking towards the spatula, which is slightly faster. So the only thing left to do now is figure out the first frame on which you can elbow into the cage, and I'm sure you'll be able to figure this out by now. Now you can pretty much unpause the emulator and start walking into the spatula as the ball comes out. Once the spatula animation is over, let's pause the emulator now we can store our progress to another file, let's call this one end. And now we can simply play back the task that we've made by loading the start state in read-only mode. That's it for the example demonstration, so hopefully you were able to follow along. I'm going to finish this video with some final tips. First of all, there is the following slightly different method of storing your task. For this you want to load the start state in read only mode with the entire movie loaded, then advance one frame and store the save state to another file, let's call this start2. Then once you've rebooted the console, you can load the save state in read only mode and that also lets you play out the task. 
This method of storing has a couple of pros and cons. First of all, you only need to store a save state at the start of your movie. However, sometimes I like to have a save state in the middle of my movie stored. And also you can only load this save state if you're not already recording inputs. Now for another tip, your hotkey save states are actually also stored to files somewhere. So this means if Dolphin crashes or if you restart your PC, then rebooting Dolphin you still have these save states in your hotkeys. Finally, a tip if you want to make a full game task, you want to select the game here and then start recording input. Then once you've done some tasking, you can store your progress by exporting the recording. Let's call this one boot. That creates a single input recording file as you can see here. Then in order to play back your inputs, you simply select the game here again and click play input recording and select your input file. That's about all I have to say about recording inputs with Dolphin and storing them to files. So good luck using this to make tasks.